Hi Leo, Julie here with our weekly meditation. And today we're gonna to do a walking meditation outside in nature. If you uh, are able to get outside real quick with your phone, do that. Otherwise, just watch on the screen and um, you'll be able to do this on your own next time you're outside, next time you have a few minutes. So I think that doing, getting out in nature is a great way to help us manage our stress, to access the relaxation response, to focus on something pleasant and positive and to really help us shift away from those negative thoughts that are so often and so easily swirling around in our in our minds. So let me turn the camera around and we'll just walk down this path in this wood. I'm actually on vacation uh, at a lake where E.E. E. Cummings, a famous poet from the 50s and 60s, grew up and wrote a lot of his poetry. Nature and love were some of Cummings' favorite themes. So at the end, I'll read a short poem that I found and that I think fits our theme. So let's just experience this walking meditation and then I'll end with the poem. So if you're outside, you can follow along and if you're inside, just work your way into your positive, I mean your comfortable upright posture your feet on the floor and you can close your eyes or watch your screen as I walk along. Imagine you're walking through these woods on this path. Feel the ground beneath your feet. Walk slowly enough that you can really pay attention to each footfall Feel your heel as it hits the ground and moves to the forefoot, to the ball of your foot and to your toes. On each foot, each step. Imagine what that would feel like. And feel the muscles in your legs working to move you forward calf muscles, your thigh muscles. Feel your joints articulating, your toes, your ankles, your knees and hips. Hear the sounds of your foot. Maybe there's a crackle of leaves or branches or pine needles under your feet. Look around and see the shapes and colors and movement. forest. Feel the breeze on your face, in your hair. And hear the breeze. See the forest as a whole. leaf. And then return your focus again to each footfall, to the heel, the ball of your foot, and your toes with each step. And now I'll read Cummings' poem. He uses the word God in the first line. And I'm not trying to make this religious in any way. If you prefer a different word, please replace it in your mind. And 
if the concept of a creator doesn't resonate, please don't take any offense. This poem is called, I thank you God for most this amazing day. I thank you God for most this amazing day, for the leaping greenly spirits of trees and a blue true dream of sky and for everything which is natural, which is infinite, which is yes. I who have died am alive again today and this is the sun's birthday. This is the birthday of life and of love and wings and of the gay, great happening, illimitably earth. How should tasting, touching, hearing, seeing, breathing any, lifted from the no of all nothing, human merely being, doubt unimaginable you. Now the ears of my ears awake, and now the eyes of my eyes are opened. And being out, Side really helps us open our eyes and our ears and experience nature and let it fill us up. So get outside and see how you do with a walking meditation. Thank you for joining me and I will see you soon.